The Money Masters. Let's go to Carlos in California. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? Yes. I want to thank you guys for all that you do for EFNM. I've been a tiger for over 10 years. Actually, I started listening to you before I even speak a, a word of English. Oh, really? And the, yeah, and the, and the thing that captivated me was when you make like, rah! I was like, wow, what, what is that? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> and, and where I are you from? I serious. Wh- I'm from the south, uh, actually the, the northwest part of Mexico. I love right it. Right next to Guayabitos. Okay. It's, it's uh, close to Puerto Vallarta. Okay, oh, cool. cool. Yes, and uh, I listen from there. And then when I arrived here, I married my wife. And then I keep listening to your radio station. That's a and beautiful it's, thing, It's man. a great thing. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us, folks. We get the Dow off uh, 143, NASDAQ down 38, S&P's off 16, 18, actually. You get gold down 31, silver's off 79, you get platinum down 47. Bonds are up a point at 143.11. It's going to go for that 147, folks. You get volume of going to 160. Blow everyone's mind. King Dollar is only up 45 cents, and it's doing some destruction in the marketplace, folks. Now, Steve, what Steve and I were just looking at, okay, is this, is that, you know, people talk about, well, there's no volume. We're saying, okay, is it going to be volume on the way down? You want to see volume on the way down, folks? Oh, baby. Get on your hat. Okay. Hang Sang last night got taken apart. Well, actually, it didn't get taken apart. It was only down 500 bucks, 459, which is not a lot. But let me show you something here. If you're watching Tiger TV, what you have is this. You had your at highs with 1.8 billion, 1.2 billion, 1.5 billion. Ba boom. Yeah, See ya. Don't want to be big. ya. 3.9 billion on the way down. Yeah, close to the session lows. Yeah. Close to the session lows, down 459 points and with volume. Right. So the Hang Sang folks. Wants to run to sixteen thousand eight hundred now. <laughs> yeah, which is you which know, is a twenty five percent hit. Yeah, and so important actually to be able to you know tie the markets together. You right. Know, which is you know you've done such a great job of being able to do that for all of us. You know how to yep. take a look at this as being a one world market. And understand what's going on. You know in front of you, behind you, because it gives you it's a, it's a roadmap. And because it, it works the same. Well, yeah. Okay, so let's go to the FTSE right now. It is, I'm telling you, man, it never stops. Uh, now, what happens with the FTSE folks is I actually won't get the volume to about six right. hours after they're closed. Right. Uh, but I suspect what you have, let's see, 50, uh, yeah, 57, okay. So we're at 5780 right now. This baby got to 5778. Well, it's at lows right now. Um, the 5747, you get inside the 5747. And, and how is the FTSE, I've got the DAX on my screen, but how's the FTSE doing against February 3rd, which is really where the market took off and then traded sideways forever. That was, that was, that was the it's, job it's report. Bo- it's, below it's below it. it. It's below it. Okay. It's so you it. got the FTSE trading now below that. And that February right. 3rd, I think, is really an important area, folks, just knowing because that's where our market's actually you know, moved up or gapped up, if you will. And then from there, we just simply went sideways. That's right. Okay? And, and there's that, plenty of people that buy those breaks. Top yeah, side. That's right. right. Yeah. And so you've got the FTSE trading below it, and the DAX is headed towards it. The February 3rd uh, area on the FTSE, the low there is 66.35, you're at 66.87. And the FTSE is trading down right now, uh, off 177 points, 180 see, points. So that means it could be down 230, yeah. 240 points today. For sure. For sure. You know, and it's what, got, what, another hour, and, got another hour and 20 minutes to do that. And, and, the, and the lesson, just so uh, you, you, you want to maybe understand a few lessons here, the lesson inside this one here, folks, is that now um, if you go to Europe, it's 12 hours and took back a month. Right. Uh, in our S&Ps, let's see what we have. That's not that. Well, yeah, in, in six hours, you're taking back a month. <laughs> six but, hours? Yeah. No, well, I no, guess no overnight. No, an hour. No, <laughs> an hour. Overnight. <laughs> overnight. <laughs> overnight. Like, you got to love it. Yeah. You got to love it. You and that time thing. I'm uh, telling uh, you, man. Hey, time talk about time. Yeah. We're going to our brother Carlos. I love it. Carlos, what's going on? Uh, well, I'm very happy to talk to you guys, and uh, I hear my, ear, my intro every day, and kind of like, Feel nervous every time I heard that intro, but 
Thank you, know, you for putting it in. Oh, are you kidding me, man? I, I listen. You know what? I just said to Steve, I got to get that intro in in the uh, the show, show in the afternoon. The Tom O'Brien. And Jen, oh, I, I'm telling you something. You know what's funny? I always wanted to speak Spanish, but because of you calling, I am going to learn Spanish. I'm not kidding either, man. I, I am. I, oh, I, thank you. I got um I got Angie the Rosetta Stone. You know, for the Spanish, and I'm going to steal it on you. You can put it on a few. You can put it on a few computers. But I okay, am, though. Good, I'm not good. kidding, man. You know, seriously, <laughs> no, I, I know you're serious. You talked to me about it off the air. I, I can't well, wait. I heard. I heard that you guys try very hard, and I and I respect that. I respect everything you guys do, and believe me, I have so many stories that I can tell you about uh, what I have used your name for. The, oh. Even when I had my INS, uh, my INS, uh, uh, INS uh, interview. <laughs> they asked me if, if I want to emulate somebody. Oh, oh that's so a, cool. a hero or something, but I didn't understand the word emulate. Okay. And, and then I asked the uh, officer, what is that? And he said, copy. I said, yes, Tom O'Brien. Oh. That's what I want to copy. <laughs> you are and I much. really respect you guys. Oh. Uh, honestly, it's the best thing uh, if ever happened to me. Well, we Love appreciate your program it. and following you. I listen to your program. I, I can bet anyone. I can I listen to your program more than anyone. Oh, man. I well, work third shift, I you know, and I listen to them in the morning. I listen all night. I just listen because I, I'm doing the two things at the same time, trying that, to learn English sure. and trying to understand the market. Yeah, well, God bless you. <laughs> You're gonna get. You, thank you, they, we're, we're, they, you know, you know, it's funny is that the what does happen, folks, is this: is that the language of the market is a language in itself, which is really cool, Carlos. Yeah. You know what I mean? It really is. So when you yeah. look, it, you know, I remember when we were, you know, just first getting in the market. I'm saying to myself, man, oh man, there's there's so many different, you know, deals here. Yes, and then yes, of course. Yes. All you have to do is put my Boston deal on top of it, and then there's a whole other exactly. deal. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly, because many times I tried to use the dictionary and didn't work. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what does that phrase mean? And I look in the dictionary, and it didn't mean nothing about the market. Because everybody uses certain phrases. Yes. Like in a regular TV. <laughs> Absolutely. That, Absolutely. Well, they, they sound so sophisticated. Oh. And the way you just talk is like when I'm talking to a friend on the street. That they can, he, he uses, this is all the way to the top where yeah. there's no way, there's no two ways about it. Uh, and that. sometimes that's hard to find in the dictionary. In the dictionary. Oh, let, let me, let me right. tell you something. Right. My, my family right. tells me that all the that's time. Right. Okay. And it's, it's absolutely hilarious. And you know what happened, folks? Uh, on Sunday, I was the MC of this, uh, the, the blues band coming in. And I got off the stage on the, on the first get go. And what had ended up happening is that, um, you know, I was introducing the band, but what I was really doing, I was really pumping up because I've been out there, you know, uh, you know, my history folks is I was running around the streets of Boston selling hot dogs, hamburgers and all that. So I made sure I went to every one of the, the vendors that were there, got their story, knew what they were selling. Which was just so cool. Oh, totally. So cool. I mean, you totally. You know, MCs don't do that. And they're the ones that make it, you know. Right, right. So... This Caroline, she has these Caroline, and, and uh, she uh -huh. has uh, pastries, right? And let me tell you, they're unbelievable pastries. Nico's going to kill me because oh. I did have some. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she's from Palm Harbor. So I got off the stage, yes, right? Yes, And people are saying, where's Palm Harbor? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. And, and, you know, I mean, it's right down the street from us. You know what I mean? But, but it, was, it, was, it was dynamite. It was really cool. Yeah. So listen, what are we going to so, look at today? Okay, uh, this is what I did. And um, the reason I, I, I am calling is about FAS. Okay. I'm sure very small position of FAS, and I did it on around Friday. Okay. I did exactly on Friday, and I'm going to tell you what I did it. Okay. I, since I started listening to you, I noticed that uh, there's a certain time where people start calling, especially one that calls you, hey, Tommy, how are you, Tommy? Yeah. He, he kind of started making fun of uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. about the market. But usually when you start receiving two or three calls about one week or ten days later, the right. market, that's what the <laughs> prediction is, is coming from you. You know what? So I, I use that as a barometer pretty much to, to put a small uh, scout position and either go long or short depending on the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, Carlos, let me tell you something, right? You're absolutely right. You can, you can throw out it. all the books. You don't need the library. You don't need anything. You have, so listen to this. What he's saying, folks, is bottom line is this. It is absolutely one of the best contrarian indicators out there. What yeah. happened also on 
Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday. Week, yeah. That was the first time that I can actually remember going back five or six years that in the two hour show in the afternoon, I did not get one phone call because people were sick of hearing that market's going to go down. And I was sick of hearing exactly. it. Exactly. You know what? Yeah, you know, so it's usually a, take, it usually takes about a week or 10 days. <laughs> I like So I, I like can put my position in. And I it's only it. a small position, it's only 35 shares of uh, FAS short. Yeah. Well, and uh, I, I'm in at 90, 92, let me see here, 92.85. You're in good shape, man. Okay, so and the FAS, we're at 87.53, and the FAS, folks, is the um, direction 300% um, bull shares. Now, what he did, folks, is he went shot that, so that's the, and what does happen, so, so let me explain the difference here. What happens is that when you're going shot the triples versus buying the triples, yes. and you're at a higher number, Exponentially, you get more out of it. Right, that, that's right, what right. the difference it's, is. Yeah. You know, so, so you, you get action number one. Now, what, we, what would you want is this. Let's see. So we are at, you get 10 million. Now, this is going to be nice, man. You're coming into that with 2.9 right now with 45 minutes, and you want 10 million. You want 11 million. You get 11 million, you get action. What, what, you, need to, what you need to be uh, watching out for also, Carlos, is go over to the XLF, okay? So you want to yeah, you want to you want to judge what's going on inside either the FAS or the FAZ based on the action inside the XLF. And so your your first indication is going to be as it gets to October 27th because that had 232 million oh, yeah, shares. Exactly. Okay. And so yeah. you know the price point there is 1417. XLF is at 1454 right now. May not sound like a lot. It's going to be big dollars in the FAS. Yeah. Right. You know, even though it's only 30 some odd cents in the F in the XLF. But but watch there. That's going to be your, your first real area of resistance uh, or support is going to be really at that February 2nd area too. That's at 1441. So you want to see it actually today. What would be ideal for you in this trade is is get is the XLF would get into 1441. It would do it on more than 53 million shares, and that sets up at least getting down to that 1417 area. Okay, uh, but now I have another question, very very important. When I bought the book, see, I don't really read um, much English. I oh. drive, but okay. sometimes it's hard for me. Yes. So when I read the uh, scaling in. Yes. Uh, what I understood is I, I don't have to buy the whole position. That's right. So what I'm doing is actually I'm making a small, uh, like, pyramid of 30, 30, and then uh, another, uh, just to make the 100%. That's right. right. Okay. But I'm making it in three parts. Now, I already did my first part, and I want to add a second position, a second a small, like, another 35 shares. Okay. So it can be 70, 70 shares. Yes. And then add another 30, so it can be 100. But I, I want to do it in a way where I'm actually, actually working for me. Okay, well, so. What price would you recommend? You, you, you stay right there. Uh, stay, stay right there with us. Stay right there. We're going to walk okay. through that. Okay. This is uh, Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Carlos. We're going to have Rick from British Columbia coming up next. We want all you tigers and tigresses. Give us a call. We're going to be right back, folks. X Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold silver producer in Argentina. X Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you seek to maximize your returns. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You were born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We're talking with our man Carlos from California. We're talking about the uh, FAS, uh, folks, and we're talking about the... Um, uh, he has shot the FAS, and we're talking about how you scale in, um, in the art of timing the trade. Now, the way that... I scale, folks, and this is the way that I, I, you should be scaling, okay, is that you're not scaling, in this particular case, we're coming down. You're not scaling all the way down. What you want to wait for, Carlos, and it is the counter trend bounce. Because, see, the way I set up that scaling chapter is this. Inside timing the trade, it confirms both sides of the trade. And in this particular case, the, the scale would be you're at 88.24 right now. What you'd love to see is that whether it's today, tomorrow, or the next day, you get the first counter trend bounce, get you back up to uh, about 88.30. So it's another point up. And the way you do it is this. So the first leg down, we did 800,000. What you'd like to see is that you come back up, you have lighter. Okay, that's confirming that it still wants to go lower. So you can put another one on, right? Then what would end up happening on the last type of position uh, what I suspect you'd probably see with this is that it's going to be right where, you know, it's going to be get into the uh, 83.65. Yeah, or the 14.17 on the XL. On the XL. Close inside it. Right. And then that gives you the confirmation to go ahead and fire away at the third position. Well, I'd still oh. wait for another yeah, bounce. Okay, okay, that's, okay, that's, okay. I'd wait for the bounce coming back up. And if you get the bounce, great. You do it. If you don't get the bounce, you know, you get, get either two-thirds two or yeah. one-third. That's, yeah. that's, that's how you want to do it. You there? Oh my! Because I I watch you on uh, Tiger TV. Yes. And I listen to you on on my uh, on my on my uh, phone when I'm working, <laughs> so I can go this over and over like always. Yes. I listen to your okay. radio station. I mean radio program so many times so I can be able to understand everything and. Well, you, you, I'm, I'm sure you get all those people in California understanding, talking, walking, and squawking. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
And thank and thank you for taking uh, George uh, call. Uh, George uh, won one of your coins, silver coins. Yes. And he said, "Oh man, you refer me to the best place I can get money." Oh, and he got good. me silver coin once, and he was very happy. Oh, well, listen, good. you know, we we want you to know, folks. You know, uh, first off, we we love what we do, but we we absolutely want you to know. You know, uh, we, last week we had one of the tigresses come in the office. You know, you calling. Um, what ends up happening is that what we do, we love what we do, but it does get, uh, when when we stay at highs with no volume forever, it, it gets tiring. And I just said to Steve, you know, you, you only need a few of these, and it puts juice in you for another five or six years. It does. I mean, it's amazing. It's, it's so cool, man. Yeah. But I, I want to give you a piece of advice, if I can, Carlos, and that's this, is that, that yes. when you called, you know, you see, so you've got an intuitive approach that, that many don't have. So, you know, you're because you're listening so much, and as you were saying, you know, you knew that based on your observations from listening, uh, that you went ahead and you took your position in the FAS, if you will, okay, because of the callers calling right. in, because of Tom, you know, you, you've got a gift there. So, you know, I, I would say, you know, you use scaling at certain times, but when you've got that little, the hair is standing up on the back of your neck because you've got that intuition, Go with that intuition, all right? Okay, thank because, you. Because you can't yes, teach that. I, you, you, I really. You cannot teach I that. Really, I really been helped by you guys. And oh, good. When I, I listen, to, I, I feel like in a family because when I listen to some of the callers, yes. even I don't really remember their names, I remember their voices. Right. Yeah, isn't that cool? Who are calling about certain stocks and by just by the, the sound of the voice. Yeah, right. And it's been so many years that I'm I'm so glad that I, I listened to you once and I, I just, Got in the Hotel California, never got out. Yeah, I love it. Uh, well, look, we love <laughs> okay, it. brother. Have a great one, man. Thank Have a you safe so one. much. Thanks, Carlos. And hasta luego. Uh, hasta, perfect. Hasta luego, brother. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. Hasta, hasta There we go. Hasta, I said, I, I, I'm, I'm going to get this down. Man. I love it. I love it. That's it. It's a beautiful thing. Let me go from California. Let's go up to British Columbia. To another voice. Hey, what's going on? Hey, that Carlos is one energetic tiger. Uh, he's a, he's awesome, man. Yeah. He's awesome. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. Hey, um, I was. It's funny you talked about the FAS, and and I guess you, I got two full question here. The spies. I put it on a monthly. Yeah. And I mean, you know, it's funny you said you we had you had no calls, you know. But I mean, just take a look at at. Each month, how how it just went up on fumes. And, oh no, the, the monthlies are set up beautiful. I mean, it already. What happened, folks? And if you, I'll, I'll show you right now on Tiger TV. What what already happened on the monthly is that it already broke with conviction, and all as we did is we come right back up to the other side of the channel. We broke on a monthly with nine nine billion shares. We come up and we touched it last month with two point eight. We're done now. Bye bye. Exactly. See ya. Exactly. Don't want to be ya. Exactly, and then, and Tom, if we can, if we can just put it on a weekly now, okay, just to, to fine tune it a little bit, it's set up pretty nice. Let's fine tune um, it. You stay right there. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Don't forget, folks, Tiger Dollar promotion. You have this week to uh, make twenty to thirty percent on your money. As soon as we come back, we'll walk you through it. We'll be right back, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on lighter volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now.
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you uh, growling and prowling out here with us. Uh, listen, folks, uh, the way that Tiger Dollar promotion goes is this. You can make 20 to 30% on your money. Uh, it goes to the end of this week. If you have any subscriptions at TFNN, come on over, check it out. Uh, if you do buy Tiger Dollars, what you're going to get free, which is about a $900 value, is I'm going to do a Master Trader online, live, March 29th. You get that for free. Uh, now, what is also happening is our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, is going on the road. Absolutely. We had such a good time meeting everybody, you know. That's right. And, and he's going to bring education right to you. If you happen to be in Denver, Colorado, he's going to be doing the Master Trader March 23rd and 24th in Denver. Tampa, Florida, April 13th and 14th. Boston, April 27th and 28th. Uh, so when you, when you put it together, the Tiger Dollar promotion, the Master Trader, three months of his newsletter, you want a great education, folks, uh, get out there and check it out. Absolutely. Yeah. And what I want to do is that we're going to spend time taking food. There's three phases of trading, three right. phases of life, if you will. Right. You know, and I've been talking about on the show dabblers, stressors, right. and masters. And it's just so important to be able to get, you know, if you're if you're serious about the money game, right. you want to be able to get yourself to that master level. It doesn't matter where. And I, I am proof positive because when I first attended the master trading yeah. series, I had no technical you know, education, right. all kinds of fundamental, or right. what have you. So it doesn't matter what level that you're trading at right now. I will be able to take folks from wherever they're at, you know, into that master level. Yeah, you had the right questions, though. Yeah. Yes. You know, yes. what, what, so what's pretty neat about this, folks, there, there absolutely are questions um, that 
you know, uh, you can pick up pretty quickly, meaning I can pick up pretty quickly, uh, understanding, and, and with that understanding, this is all what that really understanding is, that the person on the other side is understanding this is a business. Right. And if you understand it's a business, what ends up happening, it's a lot easier, you know, because it just is. Yeah. Because in businesses, you win to lose totally. all the time. I mean, totally. I make so totally. many deals. In, in, <laughs> in, 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 we, we can be sitting on the couch sometimes, right? Yeah. And what happens now, folks, is that my friends, even my family, they tease me. I mean, you, you see me out here trading, but I make a million other deals, too. Right. That's right. That's <laughs> and, right. And it's I just part of it. I just, you know, that, that's the way it goes. You know, the coolest thing about the go long, well, there's so many cool yeah. things. It's kind of hard to put the, the, the coolest, if you will. I think actually just giving people hugs and, you know, yeah, handshakes yeah. and seeing people, right. if you will. But for me, as a, you know, when you're up there speaking, right. if you will, and you know, you see it, too. There are certain there are certain areas, and when you put together a presentation, you're not sure what's going to work or what's not going to work, how right. it's coming together. But uh, for example, up in uh, Boston, when when I really started talking about the the, the business aspect of okay. what it is that we do, right. I saw more light bulbs go off in people's eyes right. and minds that were coming. You know, it was like instant energy. Right. There was all of a sudden this change that people understood as I took them through this process. That's right. And that. You know, that was just empowering as a call from Carlos. Or, yes. You know, no, no, absolutely. If, if, if you will, which are really empowering to us. Not, absolutely. Just like Rick. Just like Rick. No. And you know what? After we go to Rick, I want you to walk everyone through that because I, what he just, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. give a gauge of yeah. that because that, you want to walk him through that. Yeah. Okay, brother. So uh, let's see. We got the, we're going to put the uh, S, S&P up in a weekly, right? Yeah. Well, you know what happened about three weeks ago? And, 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 and this whole move over the last two months is just done on fumes. That's why I almost felt like an idiot when I said it to you. But that week in May, the first week, I said to you, you know, Tom, I, I said, that technically has volume up there. And, and yeah, you, you did. You, you, I and remember you agreed. That. Yeah, you agreed. And uh, it confirmed a one- or two-week ABC up. I just kind of went up to that level, and now we're backing off. And uh, see you later. Now, bef just one quick thing, because I think, I know you didn't have many callers, but I think you're going to start getting more now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, but uh, the FXE, if you put that on a monthly, and the UUP doesn't look as good, but um, I think I've asked you that before. But sooner or later, we got to go down and test the lows, don't we? Uh, on what? On the on the FXE, the euro. The euro. You know, the 122 or 120. Yeah, the euro's dead, Ben. Yeah. It's trash. Well, 130 FX is going on, you know, yeah, 125 and a heartbeat, man. Let well, me tell you, you know, you know, it's amazing. This morning, what blows, this absolutely blows my mind, folks. And, and stay cognizant of this. You hear on a continual basis. I heard Donald Trump out there this morning, right? He's saying the dollar's at lows. I'm saying to myself, where do these people come from, man? Right. The dollar well is not at lows. Low. That's right. It's well off its lows. The dollar is 15 percent off its lows, and yeah. it's a all that really shows is that there is absolutely. They're either it's either propaganda or it, there's a disconnect, you know. But that that always absolutely blows my mind. I'm saying to myself, you know what? They're not dealing with dollars. It, I don't know what they're dealing with, but bottom line is that this dollar, folks. Let me tell you something. This economy is cooking, and you know it's happening. And yeah. Well, it, it, it just before I sign off, Brazil's GDP was a lot lower than expected. They were at 10 percent. They're down to around 2.5 or something today, which really? shocked everybody. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you take care, guys. Okay, right, man. Good day. Have a, have good a, day have a great one. Have a safe yeah. one. So let's, what I'd like you to do is this. Walk, the, in fact, you know, folks, uh, tonight we have a few more spots uh, in Tampa if you uh, want to come uh, see Steve and I. It's free, 630 to 930. It's the higher regency. You can sign up on the front page of our website. Walk them through the example you, you talked about with the business. Well, this is I'll, really cool sure. for us. I'll, 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 I'll do I'll my best. Yeah. I'll do my best. And maybe what I can do tomorrow or the following day or what have you is actually try to take a part of the presentation okay. slides as well, just because okay. people are visual. But I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and, and walk people through this because it, it is absolutely, in my opinion, it is the most important element to understand if you're going to go ahead and uh, and be in what I call the, the money game, right. okay, the money business. That we're in, and that's a totally different uh, thought process, folks, than, than traders. And so, and it's so much easier to do inside a live environment because the way that uh, the way that I'm able to do it in a live environment is to identify folks that have actually been in business. Now, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've I've been in businesses, you know, ever since I was out of diapers, it seems like. And so, I'm always thinking from a business right. standpoint. 
And some businesses I've had for 10 years, some five or what have you. And and most folks out there, well, look, everybody owns a business. If you're right. in a household, you own a business. Exactly. Okay. And so you go through these, uh, you go through this process. Well, if you've ever owned a business, folks, you know, some of you have been in business for one year. You know, ninety-two percent of uh, businesses, you know, or eighty percent of businesses fail after the first year, if you will. And you know, and there's only one in twenty-five businesses only makes it to ten years. Really? Yeah. I mean, how long have you, how long have you been in uh, business here? Thank God. Yeah, man. Fifteen plus ninety four, two thousand four. Oh my God! It's almost nineteen years. Yeah, okay, that's so you, sick. You're only one. You're I'm old. only eighteen years old. I love. Hey, no, it's, it's, it's cool. But only, only one in twenty five. You know, are actually going to make it uh, beyond there. Now, you know as well as I do when you when you run into business. If you didn't make money yesterday, right? You know, you're still, still right. going to be around in business. Yeah. yeah. Right. And if you didn't make money last week, right? Are you going to still keep the doors yeah. open? Right. Okay. And that's what every business owner knows, and every business owner knows that you're going to go through cycles. You talk about the right. cycles, right? The four cycles of accumulation, markup, distribution, and markdown, and it goes on on a continuous basis. Yes. In business, you have cycles. Right. You know, it's never a flat line, if you will. No. And so you have weeks, you have months, if you will, where you're going to not make money, but you never shut the doors. Well, what dabblers do? That's why. I bring into the idea I of see. dabblers, of dabblers okay. and stressors, because what's going to happen if you're going to dabble at something? We've all dabbled at things, right, right? So I don't mean it in a negative sense. No, no, I mean no. it as a phase of. But if you're going to put your money up, you better get serious. Well, right. that's it. You know, yeah, so right. it's like in sports, you're going to dabble, and, and what always is going to happen is, no matter where you're at, you're going to run into a roadblock. Okay. Okay. And so what's going to happen what it, what, when you've ever dabbled at anything? Uh, you know, and you run into that roadblock, you're just making that decision whether it's worth your time to, or whether you've got the energy to punch through it. It's like a B point. Right. right. What happens right. when you come up to a B point with light volume? Are yeah. you going to punch through it? No. And if you do punch through, what are you going to do? You you're going to fail. Right. I mean, well, with light volume, yes. yes okay, right? right. right. You yes. know, same thing in life, if you will, and that's when you get to that dabbler. Well, I promise you that a successful business person is not a dabbler. You're not right. in business for 19 years because right. you dabbled in this. Right. Okay. Right. No. Right. Okay. Then that that second area, you know, so so people may get through that first year, if you will, but then when you get to that next uh, uh, area, which is five years in business, you know, then it's like ninety two percent of businesses will fail. Well, in order to get there, you know, it may be done with a lot of stress. You know, you you, you run up against a you run up against a problem, and then you find a solution. You know, you do whatever you got to read. Right. You bring in information. Yes. You go searching for what you know. What have you missed or what have you? But you can only do that a certain number of times. Well, I can promise you went through some stress in, in life and running a business. And in business, folks, in the money game, the stressor might mean you've run into a series of losses for a week or two or even a month. Well, a business owner knows they're not going to go out of business if you have been in, if, if you That's know it. that you're going to have that right. series of losses. And I ask people, how easy is it to trade? I ask you folks on the other side of this camera, how easy is it to trade? And it's not easy. In fact, your spouses or your friends, when you tell them what it is that you do with your money, they probably think you're nuts. They think you're nuts with regard to what's going on in the market. You can't control them. They've got all the reasons, you know, to not be in See, it. See, I, th I, I, think, I think my friends are nuts, but I think they're nuts because they just give it away and, and they, they just well, keep it in there and they look at it every five or ten years. It's like, yeah. what, do you, what, do you, what, what did you just work for? Well, here's the slow, here's, here's the, you know, here's the difference, folks. If you told your friends that you were in the money business, that you're in the money management business, yeah. because I talk about the importance of really understanding what business you're in. You know, and I give several examples. I'll give several examples tonight. And when you understand what business you're in, it totally changes the way that you approach things. And, and so you're going to have a series of wins and losses. That's what I call being able to understand what the, expect the expectancy of your trading system is all about. Because what a master always does is expects things. They expect that there are going to be hurdles. They expect that there are going to be times. Maybe it's weeks where you've got light volume or, or what have you, okay? But what you do know is you know what the outcome is going to be. Right. You know, and you are able to push through that. And there's such a huge, huge difference. If you're in this game and you think that you're in the trading game, okay, folks, you need to make a shift. You absolutely must make a shift. Otherwise, you're just living in that stressor area. And that is no fun. It is no fun to live in that stressor area. Isn't that cool, folks? You know? Yeah, I, I, no, I, I think it's great, man. Yeah. It's and so, there's the, you know, it's more visual when I spend more time on it and I'm able to walk people through a process. And that's really why folks should come tonight because it's not just the application to trading. Right. You know, it's the application to life. Oh, it is. No, no, that, it absolutely is, man. I, it's the just, first thing I ever found out, what, just even doing the ABCs and yeah. then the, the correlation, the ABC inside of life. And what happens, as, as we were just talking about, folks, is that... In life, what ends up happening is this. You have these expansions and contractions. 
And what I absolutely found is this. So is this. And, and stay tuned to this, folks, because no matter what you're doing in life, when you're coming up to a B point in life, you absolutely want to crush it with volume. And the way you crush it with volume is you make sure, you, first off, you understand you're coming up to a B point. Then what you do is make sure you're staying totally physically, mentally, spiritually in shape. Yeah. And if you do, as you go into it, what you absolutely want to do is that you accelerate the whole deal. Because all you have to do is get beyond that B point, and then you're going to consolidate again. That, that, the B point is the toughest. That's the toughest it, swing point you know, in, in it, it, trading. It's the toughest swing point in, in life. life. Yeah. And, and it's where all the extraordinary rewards are. Think about oh, it it being in the trade, right? It is. When it you're, is. When, when, you know, how, 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 much, how much better do you feel, folks, if you're trading an ABC pattern or whatever pattern you're in, and you come through that swing point with volume? Right. When you come through with volume, does your, you know, do you think there's a, a small change or a huge change in your outlook with regard to oh. being able to complete the pattern or maybe even extend beyond the pattern? You, know, you got action. In spades. Yeah. Basically. And the only way to really be able to get past your B points in life, this is what I learned, and I wish, and I teach this to my kids, I wish I had learned this, you know, sooner than I did, is that you have to do with massive action. It means you yeah, have you to do. do something that is uncomfortable. It means you have to, you know, be willing to invest in yourself instead of, because people will talk about, you know, do I, should I spend that money, you know, here or there? It's about making investments in yourself. And if what? you're not willing to invest in yourself, then, you know, I don't know why you, why you, play the different games you do, whether it's a sporting, you know, if, you, if you're if you trying to get past a B point in golf or tennis, you know, you've got to be able to invest in yourself. If, if, if it's health, that's why, that's why you've got Nico. That's why, yeah. you know, that's why you go to Nico in totally. order to be able to, you know. Let me say, I'm going after a B point right now, and I'm going to blast through it, folks. And oh, you and are. Oh, you are. You absolutely are. And, but I can tell you what I'm, what I'm also doing is that I plan this baby out, okay, so you plan it out, you get ready for it. You stay physically, mentally, you do the whole, and then, bang, you yeah. just start hitting it, man. And you got to admit, you know, and, and I know what you're talking about, and, and you know that the universe is always throwing these little challenges at you. Oh, yeah, right? totally. Okay? Yeah. That's nothing more than just how badly do you want it. Folks. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, that's, exactly. That's all that is. And, and when you understand that and you see those challenges show up, you just kind of smile. You like, push them out of the way. You just, Get you just out like, of here, just man. Like, man. Just like, see you later. Is that, is that all you got? See you. Don't want to be you. Let's go to Mark in Massachusetts. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Okay, Tom, um, no hablo espanol? Uh, just, uh, uh, I just, need, just, I, I, not yet. Uno poquito, I'm, which I don't even think that's the right... Uh, yeah, si, 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 Oh, senor. okay, great, just a little. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, but, um, poquito depends about the dialect of Spanish, Steve. Poquito um, usually means very, very little... Poco means little. Okay. So, and right. it also depends. That's also a regional thing. Poco is more of a Mexican Spanish. In Venezuela, where my wife is from, it would be Poquito. Got it. Okay, cool. good. Well, I'm from where your wife is from. Hey, it was great to meet you, Mark, on, yeah. uh, on Saturday. Really great to I, meet Tommy, you. Tommy, I wish I had a picture to look at your face when you saw me. I know. <laughs> I love it. You, you, know, it's, you know, it's wild, folks. Okay, you know, it would. You know, thank God all the tigers and tigers have been out here for so long. And so, picture, you know, I, I know this voice in a second. And in fact, I like what Carlos was talking about. I can actually go yes. places and I hear a voice that say, hold it. That, I, who, I, you know, and, and I'm. For sure. But, but the bottom line is that I, I know Mark. I mean, I, I've, I've seen him so many times, it's insane. And it was like, oh my God, you got to be kidding me, man. I love it. I love it. Well, I wish I had a picture of the look on your face. That was, that was too funny. Uh, I love it. I love you it. stay right there. We're going to come right back. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Oh, you tigers and tigresses growling and prowling out here. We get the Dow off 164, NASDAQ off 42, S&P's off 19, gold's down 32, platinum 42. Bonds are going to the roof, folks. We're at 143.16. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll 
get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the hollister mine in nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only 527 dollars per ounce great basin gold is cash flow positive and trades on the toronto and new york stock exchanges under the symbol gbg Catch Kate Stalter on the Small Cap Roundup, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern. Up next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We have the Dow down 172, NASDAQ off 44, S&Ps are off 21. And don't forget, folks, you stay right there because uh, we have Kate coming up next with the Small Cap Roundup from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Then we'll go on to Chicago, Illinois at Thinkorswim headquarters. Victor Jones, the best option show on the planet. Uh, then we're going to uh, run from uh, Chicago all the way out to beautiful um, Sherman Oaks in California. Ken Shree from 3 to 4 and back to Tampa uh, from 4 to 6. We're talking to Mark from Massachusetts. Okay, so what are we going to look at out here? No, Tom. Um, you, you talk about energy. So the question is, we've come down uh, a lot this morning. Um, tomorrow, will we have a counter turn bounce, do you think? And if the answer to the question is yes, do would you maybe short... Um, the market um, overnight on the assumption that when we open tomorrow or at least the futures will be um, up in the morning and then sell that short either the pre-market or at the open? Well, uh, number one, the market does not have to bounce from here. The, you know, the, the bulls have on a continual basis, you know, looked at it and bought the dip and they've had it on a small basis. What we have out here this morning 
is it looks to me like this is a decisive break. You know, we'll see whether we get the volume behind it. You know, right now, it's really a toss-up. You know, uh, it's, the volume is really not there. I would say, you know, like the S&P, we're at 60 million. Um, it's got to bang out about 180. You know, it, like if you did hour-wise, it would look like it could do it. But the first hour, you get the most of it. Um, you know, we'll see whether we get the juice behind it. The, the, the volume is higher, I can tell you this, than we have been at highs, dramatically higher. What hasn't happened, which I need inside timing to trade, is I need acceleration and expansion on the way down. I think it's going to happen. So if you're not shot, I would sell counter trend bounces on the way up. You know, but okay, as the answer your question I'm, about can you bounce tomorrow, I'd say no. If this is if this is real, like we just looked at the XLF, the XLF very well could be setting up to jump the creek. And if the XLF jumps the creek, watch out. You know, uh, the creek is set up right where we, right where we're at. So the XLF is at fourteen forty nine. If you close somewhere around fourteen thirty. That is the, you talk about energy, that market can wake up in the morning and basically, you know, jump everything. And if it jumps everything, uh, you will see uh, selling accelerate. The, the reason you'll see the selling accelerate is everyone believes, folks, that, you know, what would end up happening there is this. And at, in 12 hours, we'd be back to October 27th. Right, right. Well, if you take a look at the spies, which you've got up on the screen. Yes. And you go back to February 3rd, where you've got the gap. The gap yeah. has not been filled. And the low on that, folks, is 133.77, uh, maybe 133.64 if you use February 7th as the day. You're, right now, you're trading 134.90. If you have a similar type gap tomorrow that you had today, right. you will, we were talking about, you will have a huge island out there. Yeah. I mean, you talk about a huge island reversal. This is not like one day. No. This is a month. It's a month. You know, you yeah. don't you don't really Huge. see that uh, very often. I'm not, and I don't know whether that's going to happen or not, Mark. But if it does happen, I do know that it means yeah. uh, you know you're going to see lower prices. And, and what you do have the the Hang Seng last night told us that you're coming down on volume, flat out. It already confirmed it. I suspect by the time I get the volume out of the UK and the DAX, it's going to say the same thing. And I suspect by the end of the day, we're going to have the same thing. And if that's what you have, you'll get follow through. Tommy, one of the first things I learned from you are uh, going to your trailers traders breakfast when you were up when yes. you had your office up here was gap filling so that's what kind of sort of made me ask the question about sure. what, uh, what we will do tomorrow and will we want to fill this gap that we gapped down this morning and maybe try and fill it in the, um eventually partially in the morning and then, and then come back lower yeah but if you remember something what do i say about gaps that are higher well there you say they don't have to be filled they never have to be filled that's right okay yeah Cooking, brother. Okay, Tommy. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Andre, Andre, arriba. I love it. <laughs> Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses, thanks so much for being out here. And don't forget about Tiger TV, folks. If you haven't watched Tiger TV, bring it with you. You know, a great educational platform. You see the charts. You see the whole ball of wax. Don't forget about the Tiger dollars. You want to make 20 or 30% on your money. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank you.